hey, the Holocaust, what's up with that? I kick your ass. And then I'd sue you. And that's not an empty threat, because I'm Jewish, so you know that I have three cousins and two hamsters who are all lawyers. And that's on privilege. But for real, like, being Jewish is hard. Bar mitzvah season is brutal. I've spent a small fortune on clip-on ties. Do you know how many times a man can listen to I've Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas before he cracks? Because I do. It's about six. Seven if only one parent is Jewish. And Jewish holidays are weird too. Like, the pharaoh in Egypt refused to let my people go, so we murdered his firstborn son and then drowned him in the Nile. And if you ask me, I mean, that's a bit of overkill, but we celebrate it. And people are always like, Ethan, why is it called Passover? I'm like, fuck you, that's why. Jews don't play around. God and I are so tight. Like, cross me and I swear to God I'll build an ark. I've done it before. I'm not afraid to do it again. For real though, whose bright idea was it to put a boy who only just discovered his penis in the car ride on the way to the synagogue and put said boy in front of all of his friends and family and have him sing in a language he doesn't understand? Like... My voice cracked so much you would have thought I was inducting people into a cult. Marjorie Taylor Greene isn't anti-Semitic. She just showed up to my bar mitzvah and thought I was trying to summon Satan. And I don't blame her. My face was so full of acne, I look like a pepperoni pizza, and that shit's not even kosher. Bar mitzvah, I feel like I'm owed an apology. Specifically, me. People like to gatekeep Ju Judaism, too. They're like, oh, you're Jewish? Name every single person in Israel right now. To be honest, it's not that difficult. You just say Goldberg, and you've got half of them. I will say it does get annoying when stores have holiday displays, but they're, it looks like Santa Claus just took a dump in the window, and then there's one small menorah like off to the side, and they call that inclusivity. Like, I think I'd rather be called a slur than be invited to another Christmas party or holiday party where the theme is ugly Christmas sweater. Like, do we not, are we not understanding the disconnect here? I will say, though, that as a Jewish person, the biggest thing I will never understand is the nightmare before Christmas. Is it a Christmas movie or is it a Halloween movie? I have never gotten a straight answer and I'm thinking it's because you're all anti-Semitic. I didn't want to say anything, but I mean, like, that's what I'm left to wonder. Thank you. That's been my time. We're going to bring up the next person. Thank you.